all right welcome back to Sebeliba youtube channel today i'm going to be your teacher who is going to guide you how to use your calculator effectively and how to convert a given rectangular question in complex form to a polar form all right so let's start let's consider the expression from rectangular to polar form all right so this is the question minus two plus two i all right so let's start entering our figures in the calculator but before that our calculator mode is in degree mode and mind you you have to leave your answer in a radian form the angle you have to leave it in what in a radian form all right and also you have to convey the calculator to a complex mode before you can start entering your figures all right so let's start converting our calculator mode into a complex mode so first of all i'm going to press mode or setup they are going to select from two which is the um the the eye over there you can see that everything shows that this is a complex so two all right and also let's turn our calculator mode into a, a radium form because you can see that it is not in degree mode so in a radium form they are going to press shift they are going to select from setup they are going to select from two because the degree this is angle radian this is angle and gradient this two this is angle so let's select from two then you can see that you have I also have the radian, which is two. So I'm going to select from two. All right. So that's that. Then let's try entering our figures into the calculator. We have minus two plus two i so how are you going to enter the i let me teach you for the class phase calculator you can see that we have a key the inscription on it is what e and j in english or ink all right you can see that we have the i sun over there in a violet color all right, you are going to press the ink. All right, so you can see that we have gotten our rectangular question. So our next thing to do is to press the OPT and please take your time and follow the steps. All right, you can also pause the video and practice it alongside as you are watching the video. So I'm going to press OPT and then I'm going to press the down here. You can see that we have argument, conjugate, real part, imaginary part. We are not dealing with that for now. We are going to press down here. Then we are going to select from one because you can see our R and what our theta. So that should tell you that the one we are going to convert a certain thing into what argument and um our direction. Yeah. So that's that. So I'm going to select from one. Then we are going to press equal to so that we are going to get our solution. So that's that. So we have our R is what? Two root two. And our theta is what? Three pi on four. So this is how you convert it from rectangular form to polar form. All right. So let's try and reverse the process. How to convert it to from polar to rectangular form all right so you can feel free and pause the video and you try your hands on it manually how to work it with your cartesian plane find your r and find your argument and whatever you can feel free and pause the video all right so let's continue on i'm going to press ac or on any of it then we are going to enter the solution we got, which is the two root two. 
then we are going to um press the less than or the greater than sign so we are going to press shift then we are going to press inch which is going to give us that sign all right so after that you are going to also select from the optn with the option the key beneath the shift all right then the same process you press it down here then you are going to select from where two because the question is what in what in a polar form right now so you have to convert it into a rectangular form so you are going to select from two all right so after this the next thing to do is what to press equal to so you are going to press equal to oh synthesis error let me check is there any mistake somewhere oh okay we didn't enter our heart our we didn't enter our angle sorry so our angle is three then power shift over four oh okay yeah sorry so that's that they are going to press equal to so you can see that you have gotten the question back and there's a question minus two plus two i thank you very much for learning with several bar you can try your hands on many many different types of solutions you are going to arrive at the exact solution all right let this be your guide so that we work towards your solution in terms of examination all right have a blessed day learning algebra. Bye.